I need to go back there. The loot is loot emote. All right, show it up. Let's see it. Let's see how loot it is. Bum, 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 bum. If I run a game that literally everyone hates, then it'll be easy world record. And then I could be like, yo, world record speedrunner. But here's the thing, I've already gotten world records, so I'm already a world record speedrunner. Boom, got him. Dark one attack, battle rage, many fell precious are lost, but some remains when Damon needed again, perhaps pod blah blah blah. I hate I hate it. I hate that. This is like the every other capital word thing from Thousand Arms. Yeah, but the thing is, like, people run Ephemeral Fantasia already. People like Palmer will definitely make sure that they have, like, close to records on games like that. Honestly, the big problem with speedrunning isn't even, like, just finding an interesting speedrun. A lot of it has to do... Oh. Oh. Oh, that just looped me back around. Okay. Cool. Uh, a lot of it has to do with, like, the, the huge time investment to be good at speedrunning. Even just to learn a speedrun is just a, a gigantic time investment that I just don't... I just don't really have that anymore. I don't have that time anymore. Let's keep at it. Yeah, <laughs> you realize that Dragon Quest 1 has RNG manipulation that's like nearly frame perfect for like 20 minutes. Easy, easy speed run. Easy speed run. Actually, VG Krill, who came in here earlier, is routing 100% DQ11. I think I think when he was talking about the 200-hour speed run, that was what he was talking about. is I do a lot of the time speedruns have like a adaptability like you need to adapt to a situation or something like because of RNG but more than that a lot of the time it's just reset because you got bad RNG uh, so there's definitely variation but the the thing is when you're running a game you don't really care so much about playing the same games that as much as you might think you do you definitely do after a while but the big thing is, uh, like... You're kind of... It's like playing basketball. You know, basketball is literally the same game every time you play it. Throw, throw a ball into hoop. Wow. You know, such deep gameplay. Uh, but people continue to play basketball or baseball or football or whatever any sport that they play, despite it being incredibly simple and repetitive. Because it's not about the game that you're playing. It's about playing your opponent and in, in the case of a speed run it's yourself or you know your competitors in speed running trying to get better than them or whatever so it's it's about competitive play and less about you know just playing the same game and that that part of it it was definitely a huge draw to speed running for me i like that part but it's just it's too time consuming for me to continue caring about speed runs and not only that but because because it's so time consuming i get exhausted <laughs> with doing it 
and I end up missing out on so many games because of speedrunning. How, how many how many games from from two years ago that I played that came out? The answer's like one. I played Undertale when that came out, uh, and it's just like well, actually that was like like three. That was more like four years ago, but. The point is, I just didn't even get a chance to play any other games. It was just a speedrun, and, and, and speedrunning, and speedrunning, and speedrunning, and speedrunning. It just... <sighs> it's fun. I enjoy speedrunning. It's great. But... I want to do other stuff. I want to play other games. I want to enjoy other, other things, you know? And I think, I think, personally, I personally think my best streams are my non-speedrun streams. I think we have way more fun with different games than we do with our speedrun streams. Especially considering a lot of the memes uh, become repetitious. It's like, yep, we're doing this bit again, you know? How does one do a speedrun longer than 38 hours, 48 hours? How long would it take you? Bad axe. Yeah, this thing is bad axe. A speedrun isn't, it has to be so short of a time. That's not what a speedrun is. A speedrun is playing something as fast as possible with a rule set. That's a speedrun. People have this stupid idea that because a game, a speedrun is long, that it's not a speedrun. And it's the most ignorant, ridiculous, dumbass thing I've ever heard. Like when FF7 got into GDQ, people were like, LOL, seven hour speedrun. And it's like, that's not what a speedrun is. How long, how long would it take you to beat FF7? Out of curiosity. Bet you wouldn't take you seven hours. Bet you wouldn't take you eight hours. I bet you it wouldn't take you 15 hours. So, uh... There are some crazy people that will stay up for multiple days to do uh, certain speedruns. There are other people, there's a, a such a thing as a segmented speedrun. Segmented runs are still considered okay in some cases. Well, that was As long as the game is playing, then it doesn't matter. Uh, you can also do segmented as well, but like you can sleep it's RTA. RTA means real-time attack, okay? RTA means real-time attack, which means um, all actual time spent from the start of the game to the end of the game counts. So if you go to sleep, that still counts as your time. Biden Kaitos requires seven days of real time, or is it, or is it 14 days of real time to pass before a certain item could be crafted? So for the for the speed run of Biden Kaitos 100%, you you do like a four hour six hour speed run or whatever, and then you go to sleep, and you just let the game play for two <laughs> two weeks, or whatever it is. You just you let it sit there, and then you craft the item, and then you're done. So real time just means you got to sleep for it. That's it. <laughs> I've done all, I've done a Final Fantasy VII all bosses, and it took me about 11 hours, yeah, 12 hours, something like that. I've done I used to run Final Fantasy X, just that that alone is an 11 an 11 hour speed run, just any percent. What does splendid hair do after that? Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. I mean, other than being fabulous, of course. So a trap. Brace yourself. Life bracers, mighty armlet, brainy bracers, spirit bracers, restoratives. Nice. Nah, I'll pass on fighting you things though.
No, segmented runs have kind of been, uh, uh, they've been poo-pooed away, you know? You don't really, like, you don't really count segmented runs anymore because of a little bit of elitism in speedrunning. There, there definitely is elitism in speedrunning, unfortunately, where it's like, oh, you didn't do this strat, or you didn't do this thing, or you did a segmented run. Well, that doesn't count, you know? But, I mean, there has to be some kind of... There has to be at least a measure of integrity with speedrunning, or else it's not taken seriously, and then there's no... There's no interest, because competitiveness is, is kind of an important thing in any... in anything, really. Being competitive or being, you know, reliably competitive. Rule sets are important, and paying attention to those rules and, and adhering to those rules. Midwest, it was a vague question, so I gave a vague answer, or I gave an answer based on what I thought it was referring to. Okay, stop doing that. Stop, stop, stop it, stop it, stop. Another one bites the... Such a good ability, my gosh. Who else Freaking wants some? <laughs> Eric is the ultimate like enemy enemy cleanup crew. Oh, okay, I'm doing that apparently. Eric 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 and, and Honk can pretty much just wipe the floor with everything. Hey Phoenix, thanks for the host, dude. I have to leave Dragon Coon behind. Feels bad. Question, the puff puff I got in the clouds, is there a prerequisite to unlocking that puff puff? Like, did I have to vi visit so many other puff puff girls in other towns or something like that? Just a yes or no. No, okay, thank you. Something tells me we found our special ore. You have got to be kidding me! Uh, honey, are you okay? I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's Oricalcum. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? Five. Auricalcum. It's worth five. Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is it. The rarest metal in the world. I wish Mia was here to see this. So this is the ore we were looking for. I should have guessed. Imagine what a fortune you could make with a lump this big. 
Uh, Make a sword, sell the sorry. extras. Got a little carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. Hmm. We're one step closer to making that sword, but we've still got a way to go. Let's hit the road. <laughs> So we got the Oric Alchemy, I guess we could just leave. But I feel like, I feel like there's a dozen paths that I haven't taken in this dungeon. It, it's so big. Like, it's not even like long big, it's just like lots of diverging paths and it's a kind of a big maze. Uh, so we're gonna, I mean. I think I've actually been everywhere. Just the silver door is the only thing I haven't done. Oh, I think about it. I think I may have gone everywhere. All these all these maps look familiar. I believe the game comes with all the DLC for 13.2. However, there are certain DLCs on the PC version that could not make it over because of the copyright stuff. So only 13.2 has all the available DLC. Same goes for Lightning Returns. Whereas the PC version of those games only has, it comes with whatever you can get. Meaning you don't have to download anything extra. I definitely went on all... Well, did I go on all of those? That seems like a lot of... paths. Yeah, I did. I don't know about that one, though. Stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. He's stuck. Oh, feels bad. Bye, Dragon Cone. Bum bum. I guess, like, if there was any place that I didn't go, it was somewhere in the beginning. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop over here real quick, take a look around, see what I find. Dracolite. Never found a vicious uh, liquid metal slime again. Our work Yeah, like I said, copyright stuff. Yeah, there was like all these different holes. You know what, now that I think about it, I bet all those different holes just led down to the bottom, like faster. They didn't actually lead to treasures or anything. Yep. Yeah, they just lead to parts of the of the game that I've already been in, parts of the dungeon that I've already been to. So it's a good thing that I didn't drop down any of those. All right, cool. That's what it was. It was those holes that made it feel bigger than it was. Like OG Baldur's Gate is great. 
if, if that's what you're asking. Oh, we forgot to check some recipes. Focus by one. Increases Wars HP. 40. Oh, here we go. Better than the belt. 20. But no defense on it. Both my and mending. Not bad, but I, I won't use it. Maximum MP. Nah. Hey, Void Crow, what's up? Why you gotta do this to me? Crit though, nice. Easy peasy, perfection. Let's uh, let's give this one to Eric for the plus one. Oh, no, the plus three belt. What's the difference? Five. How do I want to do this? Maybe I'll just give the honk for the tough guy tattoo instead. Let's do that. I'm, I might make some armlets later. I might, I might make some more of those armlets for everybody. I think it'd be really hard to play Baldur's Gate on like non-mouse and keyboard. It'd be a lot of like menu cycling because there's so many different things you can do. I'd have a hard time doing it. I thought about getting the enhanced on PC, but I'm waiting for it to go down to like $2 <laughs> on sale. <laughs> Uh, hammer from Galopolis. Oh. Like, okay, listen. This is what happens, all right? The heroes of legend, they get on the back of the magical sky whale, okay? And they're like, yeah, let's go! <laughs> the end. So I can only land at the sparklies. Weird. In DQ8, you could land like anywhere. In fact, there were a lot of like hidden spots on the map to land. I don't know, I guess I kind of like the direction that it gives, like, look, these are the places to land. 
Instead of it just being like, oh, just find this tiny spot on the map. You gotta have eyes of an eagle to find the difference to know this is a spot you can land a special. It doesn't hide it from me too much, you know? I want to kill that, but like... We're killing it. Let's keep at it. Nice mustache, dude. I must ask you a question. Gold bar. There's a dude here as well. Bum 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 bum. Well, okay. I guess I should just uh to Galapagos. I'm pretty sure most people are going to disagree with you on that. <laughs> while retail has been in severe decline for a while now. Oh, you know what? I already got this intro cutscene here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> I did see that they had a new patch. I, I played WoW Classic for a few weeks. It was fun. I unsubbed. The end. No, the kitties are all gone. No. The darkest timeline indeed. Yeah, it's an MMO though, Zuko. It, massive multiplayer online RPG. Not single player go wreck 15 year old content game. <laughs> I mean, teams there and you find fun and whatever you want to find, but most people play MMOs because they want to play with people and do dungeons and stuff together. Oh, it's the bard, the worst bard in the world. I remember him, worst bard in the world. My boy, please! Your reckless heroics will get you killed! Fear not, father! I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. Doesn't even say hi. What an asshole. Hmm? Ah, it is you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I 